Hello my fellow geeks, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek I'm going to do a real quick tip for the Anycubic Photon Mono X. You may have seen my firmware upgrade video to enable anti-aliasing. That works really well, but I still have had a problem and I'm going to show it to you real fast and tell you how I fix it. Here's the problem. See that? You have lines in this print and this I have angled this print. If you haven't seen my video on how to angle prints to prevent this from happening, I have lines in these prints and I have it in all of them. I did all of this as a test. I've been doing another test on the Mono X and these showed up on all of them, which I thought the firmware was going to get rid of. Even the cylinders end up with these weird lines. And then what I did to fix it is, is reboot, like just reboot it. You need to reboot the Mono X every now and then. Here's the finish on this after the reboot. So that's all I did. This was the exact same file on the printer. And you see here, there we go, lines and no lines. This is not from anti-aliasing. What it feels like the printer is doing is like only using every other pixel. Like every other pixel is dark. And I end up with these strong lines. You can hear that. You can hear this? And then that this is the other one. You can still hear it. <laughs> that sounds funny. So. Big lines, little lines, but you can't even see, see the little lines. That looks outstanding. Here's what it did with a model. See what happened? Look, look at those terrible, terrible lines on him. That's unusable. And then the same file turned out great. This is a, a great little uh, dude. Actually, he's got a little bit of issue there with the print, but that's a different issue. That's not from this at all. Here's comparing the big version of these. These are the ones that I showed during the Mono X upgrade video. And there, oh, there, it's super clear there. And uh, I thought this was from anti-aliasing in my, my ignorance. I'm still learning as I go here too. I'm just trying to share things with you as I learn them. Here's another indicator. So I've got these weird lines. See that line right there, right there in the middle. And I get those where it's like a larger chunk of pixels is dark. And then after a reboot, just goes away. So this was not necessarily fixed from the firmware. The firmware definitely helps. I recommend it. It's officially released now, but use it at your own risk. It does enable and greatly improve anti-aliasing, but this is actually a different issue. Here it is on cubes side by side. It's most obvious on flat surfaces, but you can even see it on things like the uh, America model. Look, look at the edge here. Look at that right there. It's like stair-stepping really bad, and it uh, is not there. I think what's happening is like the printer runs out of memory. It seems to happen after you've got so many prints on it. So what I've started doing is just rebooting it between prints to make sure this doesn't happen. Maybe a future firmware upgrade will fix this completely, but the dot seven, three, four, seven, I think is what we loaded on the video the other day, did not fix this issue specifically. But like I said, a reboot does. More videos on the Mono X coming, along with a review, hopefully tomorrow, of a totally different printer. I just got shipping confirmation on another one, so there's going to be just lots of stuff on the channel. Non-stop. Non-stop. But if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Man, I don't know how much resin I have wasted. So much resin I've wasted on these prints. I think I've gone through five bottles of resin just this week, just trying to test different things for this. Oh my gosh. 